Hi, my name is David McKee, and my group partners are Tiffany Algu, Jaime Bartillo, and Gil Werner. Today in this video, we will be conducting two roleplay scenarios, as well as explaining concepts that are essential to understand in Salesforce management. In this video, Tiffany will be discussing the responsibilities of being a salesperson, as well as relationship and transactional selling. Tiffany will also be discussing the rewards of being a salesperson. Hyman Bartillo will be discussing creating and maintaining customer relationships as well as the power of team selling. I myself will be discussing sales quotas and the different types as well as sales performance and the components of job satisfaction. Gil will be discussing motivations of being a salesperson as well as additional criteria that provide success for salespeople. We hope that this video can serve as a recruitment and training tool for, for, for salespeople in the future. We hope you enjoy our video. A sales career can be exciting and rewarding if the salesperson is motivated to accomplish his or her goals. Selling can be classified as either relationship or transactional. In relationship selling, you try to satisfy the customer's needs and wants. You're fully committed to the customer and this can be rewarding. Transactional selling involves marketing a sale and not fulfilling the customer's needs. Being a professional salesperson can be rewarding due to several factors. Financial rewards. Recent college graduates generally receive higher compensation than other professions. Favorable working conditions. There is less supervision because you can work from home via telecommuting. High job autonomy. Working independently and having direct communication with customers with very little supervision. High job variety. Salespeople can be innovative and creative to solve customers' problems. Moving up in the organization. There's tremendous opportunity to advance in the organization. In your company, and you know what to expect from this company. You also have a good understanding for the young graduates because you were in their shoes not too long ago. And I think you should mention your success rate and how, how quickly you excelled at this job. And let them know that it wasn't easy, but you did have all the skills and abilities that you needed to handle the different job positions and fit in with the company's values and missions. Okay. I was planning on informing the Mercury College students about, um, about how being a minimum employee can be exciting, challenging, and fulfilling. Emblem offers a variety of healthy options, and their motto is actually to please customers and wants and needs. So what do you think about the introduction? I think that's a great intro. You even talk about Emblem Foods in their model. Maybe uh, mention some stereotypes of salespeople and how their the stereotypes are more transitional and we focus more on relationships though. I was also planning on talking about uh, words of being a salesperson, how they work directly with customers and there's a little supervision so they can be creative and innovative and um, solve customers' problems. And you can also work from home so like, they can sort of have a family and our college graduates earn higher salaries in our professions. Any other suggestions? Uh, yeah, you, you can share some, some experiences with the company, it's stuff like your day-to-day -day tasks. And also remember to discuss, even with a lot of freedom and creativity, a big value to this company is trust. And losing trust within the company can be catastrophic to your job. Yeah. Customer relationships are important in any organization or business. That is why understanding the main component and goals of CRM is key to developing and implementing the strategies in any business. Although understanding these goals and components are important, what is just as important is acquiring the right rep for your company. Customer Relationship Management, or CRM, is the comprehensive business model for increasing revenues and profits by focusing on the customers. Customers are what drives the marketing strategy, which makes the customers the central focus of CRM. Some advantages of CRM are reducing advertising costs, increasing awareness of customer needs, tracks effectiveness of promotional campaigns, competition for customers based on service, not prices, prevents overspending on low-value clients, underspending on high-value ones, spends time to develop and market a product, improves use of customer channel. Some main components of Salesforce management are division and specialization of labor, outsourcing, 
geographic organization, product organization, and telemarketing. The six C's in finding the right rep are compatible lines, compatible territories, compatible customers, credibility of the rep, capabilities, and credits. Hi, Mr. Rodriguez. How you doing, bro? Yes. Hey, How you doing, Rodriguez? How are you? I'm doing fine today. How about you guys? Good. Uh, great. Good. Uh, the reason why I called you guys in today to discuss some recent numbers. Uh, it's not really a fall in you guys' numbers, but it's more, it's more of a standstill compared to our competitors and compared to the reps that's already in here at Certain Deputy Wireless. Um, so I did some research. And I came up with that you guys haven't been using the CRM system properly. Uh, I'm not sure if that's due to training or, or whatever, but if you use this system properly, uh, I guarantee you know your performance will elevate. Uh, I understand your concerns, Mr. Rodriguez, with the uh, uh, our current numbers here in sales at Serendipity. Uh, I know as a senior senior salesperson, um, our numbers. Could be better, of course. Uh, we need to stay uh, at, our, at our best performance possible to compete with our uh, other companies uh, we compete with in the wireless industry. Um, could you elaborate a little bit about how you would like for us to improve our uh, performance or uh, make us more of a uh, more competitor for uh, serendipity? Yes. These you guys' numbers over the past years and also have highlighted your numbers from the present years. So, I understand you guys have been doing good in the past, but this new system can elevate you guys' work from good to being going to great. And that's not only going to look good on you, but it also reflects on the company as well here as well as here at uh, Serendipity Wireless. So is it training or anything that's concerning you guys? Or? I was worried about training because I thought it was hard to implement. Mm -hmm. And could you also uh, uh, add a few uh, could you tell us a little couple of the advantages of using uh, the new CRM system compared to what we've been doing in the past? Yeah, I definitely can. Well, so far as the training, we have up and coming reps, so we already have a training training process and in, in 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 the flow of the system to make things good, and smooth things out for you guys. Um, a couple of advantages would be like uh, it would reduce advertising costs here for our company, or uh, it would increase increase uh, customer awareness. It also would improve customer channels, so that's less leg work on you guys. That'll make it easier, you know, for the get in touch with the customers. Um, and also, most of, most important, most of all, it would increase our advantage, custom competitive advantage here at the company. Um, so, basically, my reason for meeting you guys today was just to call you in and try to see if I can get you guys to buy into using this system. And I guarantee you, if you do you see a change for the better in performance. Uh, Mr. Rodriguez, I, uh, after uh, listening to you uh, with a few of the advantages of the CRM system, uh, I feel that this, uh, this change can be beneficial to serendipity and, and uh, especially uh, for uh, creating more customer awareness of our products and services here Great. at Serendipity. Uh, I feel that it would be a, a beneficial change and uh, uh, I'm on board. Great. Me too. That's what I like to hear. Thank you guys for coming in. Nice. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Sales quotas are sales goals assigned to a marketing unit to manage sales efforts in a certain sales period. The purpose of sales quotas are to facilitate the planning and control of the field selling effort. Quotas provide incentives for sales reps and evaluate their performance. The four characteristics of sales quotas are attainable, easy to understand, complete, and timely. The three types of sales quotas are sales volume, activity, and financial. Sales volume quotas are directly related to market potential. They are the most popular quota expressed in dollar amounts or fiscal units. An advantage of sales volume quotas is that they are easy to manage and allow sales comparison to take place. A disadvantage is they do not perform well in intensely competitive environments. Activity quotas focus on certain sales activities. Examples are service calls, submitted proposals, and calls on new accounts. An advantage of an activity-based quota is that they can conform long-term relationships. And a disadvantage is that they do not always create immediate sales. 
Financial quotas examine financial criteria such as gross margin, net profit, or selling expenses. They direct salespeople to more profitable customers and products, and calculations are not always straightforward. The figure shown is the model of determinants of a salesperson's performance. Research shows that role perceptions, aptitude, skill level, and motivation level all play a critical part in a salesperson's performance. Rewards can be internally or externally mediated, and satisfaction can be intrinsic or extrinsic. There are many components of job satisfaction. It can be the job itself, co-workers, supervision, company policies, pay, promotion, or customers. All these components play a critical part of job satisfaction. Hi, my name is Gil Werner, and I'm here to discuss true motivation of salespeople and some of the requirements of a successful salesperson. Motivation is the motive for salespeople. It keeps them wanting to get up and keep going to work. Even though motivation is fueled from rewards and incentives within the company, Motivation is truly an individual choice to do three things. First, initiate action on a task. Second, expend a certain amount of effort on that task. And third, persist in expending effort over time. Rewards and incentives are forms of money given from the company, but money isn't everything. Recent studies show that one of the best forms and most effective forms of motivation is new technology. Money is a primary motivator, but not only or necessarily the most effective one. Research suggests that technology is one of the most effective motivators, specifically the iPad. It's effective for customers and employees. Sales professionals indicate that new technology like the iPad generate more interest and raise awareness of the sales program. New technology is highly effective with younger salespeople who are less motivated by money rather than older colleagues. Staying motivated can be in direct correlation of being or becoming a successful salesperson. A successful salesperson has to have certain characteristics. A conclusion from research tells us that successful salespeople are both born and made. When managers choose salespeople, they seek certain characteristics in successful salespeople. Those characteristics are as follows. Enthusiasm, organizational skills, ambition, persuasiveness, communication skills, and general sales experience. If a salesperson has all qualities listed here in the PowerPoint, they will most likely be most qualified for higher position jobs. So no matter what gender, race, code of ethics will allow a woman or a minority to get a fair shot at the job. So ladies and gentlemen, stay motivated and you should have no problem becoming a successful salesperson. Good luck. In this video, you've witnessed two role play scenarios and numerous concepts that are critical to Salesforce management. We hope that you enjoyed our video and we thank you.